Abdul Munim Abu Fatua has done what few thought possible projected a calm and unifying presence during a tense and polarized time. A self-described moderate Islamist, the head of the Arab Medical Union appeals to the vast middle of Egypt's Muslim majority. But he's also attracted fundamentalist Salafis, <laughs> while boasting as a political advisor an unveiled female Marxist. Abu Fatua rose to fame as a student who dared debate President Anwar Sadat. And despite five years as a Mubarak-era political prisoner, he's playful enough to use puppets in his campaign ads. How can he be seemingly all things to all people? Abu Fatua argues his supporters are united in seeking social justice, equality and freedom. Some would like to portray our Islamic program as a bundle of contradictions, but it combines all these noble and humanitarian values. But some aspects of that program may not appeal to all. His rhetoric, for example, challenges Egypt's 30-year peace deal with Israel. Enemy, of course. Israel is an enemy, an entity established on occupied land and threatening our security. But Abu Fatua would like to keep the conversation on improving Egyptians' daily lives. Some question if he's up to the task. University student Shireen Mustafa. I don't support him because he never worked in politics. I haven't seen anything he did, any proof that he can achieve something in the future. But the independent candidate wants Egypt to break from the politics of the past, with the next president trading cronyism and corruption for an economy based on actual abilities. His role is in inspiring, in monitoring and empowering specialists and letting them carry out their work with respect. He says Egypt will be one of the 20 richest countries in the next decade. For some, it's that kind of pledge that draws such a diverse group of supporters. For others, it may seem Abu Fatua has promised too much. Elizabeth Tharat, VOA News, Cairo.